G'day, it's Rob here again. Well, in the last video, I showed you where I picked up a filing cabinet off the side of the road, and I'm going to stick it in there. Yeah, it obviously all won't go in there, so I'm going to have to cut it down. This filing cabinet's got two two little drawers and one big drawer. Now, the filing cabinets with the big drawers, I think, are pretty useless because they, if you put too much in them, the drawers slide out and the whole thing tips ass overhead. You've got to bolt them to the wall or the floor to use them and they're no good really for small stuff. I mean a little trays like this are good but in this case I'm going to get in two uh, trays which are just a nice size. So there it is. And you can see it's got two nice little drawers up the top and that bottom big uh, divider drawer that's going to get chopped off. I've already marked up the side for the depth so now I have to just cut it off with a friction disc. You could use that anything really. I'll try and do a clean job not mark the, the paint work. On the ground here I've got some old cardboard and it's quite useful to keep old sheets of cardboard you know this my big new tv came in this and uh yeah i pick them up you know if i see them like they often throw them out they've had solar panels in when i do solar panels on the roofs these are great to put down so you don't mark stuff when you work on it and also if you're working under your vehicle you know you're crawling underneath it's good to just slide one of those under and just slide in and out on, on it and uh, you don't get all filthy dirty quite handy stuff. You can even make up a chip guard out of them, temporary chip guard. I've got one made up out of this on the back of the old shoulder and I've never ever got around to making up a proper chip guard on it. But uh, yeah, it's handy stuff. So yeah, don't pass up the old heavy duty cardboard sheeting, it's useful. So now we'll get on with this and uh, yeah, see how she goes. I've marked it out and I've left a little bit below this drawer so it doesn't sort of rub on the rub on the the piece of board it's going on to so a little bit of a gap under it is better than having it too tight when it's rubbing so you know when you cut it you might uh, you might go over a bit more so we'll give it a go I have to do this inside because the weather's threatening to pack up out there rain after all the heat, now we're going rain. I mean, these things are pretty tinny, really, you know. It's quite possible that, or almost certain, that after I cut it off along this line here, do over the bottom bit, I'm going to have to reinforce the, the side so that, A, so they don't dig into the, uh, to the wooden um, shelf that's going on, because that's going to be just sharp steel. At the, you know, they make them with a rolled edge to take the weight. And this one originally had wheels on, well, taking the wheels off. So after I've cut it through, it's only going to be the thickness of the sides, and I'm going to have to reinforce it. And I'm thinking maybe I can, I can just cut a bit of board out and put put that in there to, to brace it. And I can just drill in through the sides, and uh, that'll just stop any side to side on it. Or I could weld up some angle line, you know, there's all sorts of possibilities, I don't know. I'll see what I've got to work with once I've uh, cut through it.
Okay, let's put up the bench and see what it looks like. Well, we finally got there. The lock bar was a problem. It's only aluminium, but it's a bloody nuisance sort of thing to get out. It's got pins that come out of the side of it. These little pins here. It's got these sliding clips on it. So I just got the fencing pliers and just snapped them off and uh, wrenched these clips off and I managed to then pull it out so that's the only real difficult part of the job is the lock bar and everything good now pretty good eh? <laughs> not bad for free that'll Sure. Uh, maybe it won't, doesn't matter, it's going to be hidden under the under the back of the bench anyway, so yeah, we'll look underneath and we'll work out what we do next. Looking underneath, it's all pretty, pretty rigid, so you know, it's strong, it's not going to have to uh, have a lot of reinforcing so all it wants is something to stop the edges digging into the shelf so I might cut a piece of timber go across here maybe hmm not sure what I'll do I'll have to think about it you can see you waste a bit of space up the back here on this. So you're going to lose that because my shelf is approachable from both sides. So that's a bit of a nuisance. Oh well. Can't do much about that. The, um, and if you were to cut it off, it would weaken the whole thing and. Hmm price you pay I suppose, you just have to go with that, but overall it's uh, turned out pretty good. I mean where it's going I've got tins of paint and stuff under there just stored there so the um, yeah the space isn't critical and I put another shelf underneath the the, uh, the Chinese lay the other day so I've got a, quite a lot more space than I've had for a long time. So, hmm, there you have it guys, if you're going to attack one of these, be aware, you know, the locking bar is going to be a problem. I tried to unclip these drawers, because the ones that we had at work, you could undo some tab things here and they'd come out, but I fiddled around, I couldn't get these drawers to come out. It'd be a lot easier to cut it off if you just took the drawers out the way, 
and normally they do detach, but this is some no-name brand, and uh, I don't know whether they're meant to come off. There's a little lever thing I tried pulling on that didn't do anything, so at the end of the day I didn't want to break the plastic fittings, because they're only sort of plastic clips, so I would just go with it as it is, and uh, yeah, get on with it. Okay, that's it for me. See you next time. Cheers.